Hey what's up guys, back with a new video. This week I'm gonna make some music with my recently released sound pack. The Patreon pack that I released last week. And I'm gonna show you what I can do and what you can do with those sounds. So, without further ado, let's make some music. <laughs> So I loaded up a project and um, I think the best way to start with this is to look up a MIDI that I made for this uh, package and let's see what's a cool one to start with. Let's see what this will bring. Go to silent, perhaps start with a plug that I made. Let's see how this sounds, put it 128. And let's see, you perhaps put this in an ARP. And let's see, I like it more than this. Perhaps layer a bass line underneath that. Uh, only use like the low notes, so those can go. And see, I think I made one on silent here as well. Uh, Right, and then let's add some more uh, flavor to that with some pads or something. I think it would be cool to try to use the serum, the spire patch that I made. Uh, let's see what we got here. Right, add some delays or some more some. Um, I don't know. Let's see. Perhaps try it more with a pluck, that's perhaps better. Copy this here. I think this works better as a square plucky. Let's see, perhaps it's a cool idea to just try it like this. Add a big top lead reverb. And let's see where we end up with that. I think that's a really cool beginning for like a break part. 
and let's see what we can come up with with like for the, um, the hands in the air part. So let's see what we got here. Uh, I added a sub oscillator to this one. You can e easily remove that if you want to make it more like a chord yourself. Don't know really what I'm want to make with this yet, but let's see what we come up, can come up with. like this Already pretty epic. I like the top la top layer, but I think the the under layer has to have a bit more uh, groove to it. I think this will be a trans track. So I'm gonna uh, duplicate it, and then it's gonna treat the other the lower one a little bit differently than the upper one. So remove this, remove that. I'm gonna make here this more rolling bass. So I'm thinking a bit of the Oyen feel at the moment. Mm. All right, and then we're gonna go with.
can use a different sound for that. Did I make something in here which could really... Uh, Alright. So I'm going to layer that with a bass line from... with the sub from Heroic. Uh, let's see. Sub Heroic. So much reverb we don't need. And I see it is a bit like the first part and the chorus part. So here I'm gonna try a little bit of pluck. Let's head over to Spire. Um, right. Enable the ARP function, put it on chord, Right, let's add some uh, vocal effects or little FX effects that I added in there. Let's see if this one fits in sort of a different uh, kind of... This turns already into a little song. Let's add some ping pong shit on top of that. So it's just saying that I can't use this melody now because it's from my own MIDI pack because the thing is really turning in great. But I think it's a great uh, testament to the, the sounds that are in there. You can create something really cool with this. Little fix.
reverb, re re reverb, re re re. Well then, let's see what we can come up with with this part. Close it up a bit. Get back you. some fills here perhaps first is impact as you can see normally I'm much more organized but I just want to have some fun today and not worry about all the placement because I probably won't finish this anyway uh, what was I looking for I was looking for a oh, that's right this one Let's see. Perhaps use this one. actually want to add some white noise which is not in uh, technically in there no I'm not even gonna do it I said I was gonna use only these sounds so that's what I'm gonna do let's see we got some leads some first leads layer to finish this boring part this is the always the most boring part when you know what you want to get but you still need to make it uh, let's see. Duplicate this one. What did I say? Was it B? Yes. B and then C B C B. can create some uh, top layer in that as well let's add some make it a little bit higher as well I think it would sound better if I would do it like this oh wait that did not maybe I just put it on this one maybe one lower and otherwise I'm gonna back to the initial one Because I think it would be a little bit more euphoric. Now, I'm gonna go back to the D1. Right? I think that was better.
just gonna leave it like this. Then we're gonna go add another plug. I'm gonna use uh, the Super Saw one just for some chords. Uh, I'm gonna build up towards the the uh, basically to the to the to the drop. I think I'm just gonna go for a melodic drop. Take some EQ away and don't forget to delete them here, otherwise we're gonna get some shit. And here with this here you can uh, select to make it less more, uh, the filter open less. Alright, goodbye serum, add some build up drums uh, let's put them just here on top new audio track fill booyah Copier, that's Dutch. Right, I'm gonna add one thing um, which is not in this uh, pack, which is my sidechain channel. I made a little um, a channel strip in my favorite effects samples. Ah, oh, yes, here. Because I found like a little hi hat, a vengeance one, which works really well for my um, sidechain signal. Right. All right. Mute that. Add a kick. Which kick are we gonna use? Let's see. Um. Can use the heroic kick. I like this one. Put it. Put it in here. Right, let's group th these together. Um, group them. There you go. Put a compressor on it. And then we should. Oh, that's the wrong one. Uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? I need to put it on the group. Let's see. And then we can use this one here since we don't have a white noise, which I will do in the next pack. Since I noticed that I'm really kind of needing it. Just lower the, the, the bass frequencies of this one and we should have like some kind of... Uh,
and then I notice that everything can be louder because the kick is punching too much through. And then we're gonna go for some bass lines. Uh, let's see, we can use. Did I make some uh, which will work with this kind of style? <laughs> Uh, let's see if we can get some more straightforward uh, bass lines. Now oh, we can even use this as a block, as a bass. Just remove the delay and reverb. Let's add some compression to this as well, some sidechain compression. Uh, what's this? I don't want to use. I'm just gonna make it straight. I think then we basically have a basic idea for a track. Oh, I can add one more thing to this build up. It's a really cool thing I made in Serum, uh, which is. Uh, let's see. This is the riser build. Where did I put it? Riser rise start. And basically, every time you push a note, it will. Um, hello? I want here a new MIDI. Yes, that's what I want. Basically, every time you put a note, it will go up and pitch. And that's something that I um, tried. So let's do it like basic simply. Dun, 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 dun. Like this. Oh, <laughs> this one needs to be one. Then we can add some more claps if that's something that you're into. <laughs> that I borrowed this sentence a little bit for Peter McKinnon. You can add some claps here if you want. Oh, uh, let's see. So yeah, I think we basically have a pretty cool track going on for what I think is like 30 minutes of work.
you can get a really um, great idea of how how you can use those sounds. And like I started with a melody, which I took from the MIDI file like directly, just copy pasted it. But then I I got inspired, as you saw in the beginning, I got inspired to make a new melody, which really turned this track into something more uh, different, which you wouldn't even uh, recognize when you hear this, that it was from that MIDI file. So I really hope that you uh, had some fun watching me uh, work on this track and uh, I really am really grateful for the support that you've given me already on Patreon. It's really helping me a lot with my, my career and like making music for a living and that's something that I really uh, strive to achieve so I can just focus on creating um, great music, music for you guys to listen to and great uh, sounds for you guys to use and just teach you something every now and then if I can which I really love to do if you like this video hit a like and if you haven't already subscribe and I will see you guys on the next video hope you have a great day take care bye bye